Well, it's a girl. We'll send it back then, shall we? Yeah, We've we already got a couple of girls. We need a boy, definitely. If you could take this back and swap it for a boy, that'd be really cool. Pale pink, but probably a bit shocked and scared, I should think. What's the story you're hearing about the sets around there? The farmer rang us from Everly Farm yesterday and said they'd found two baby badgers dead um, and sticks them in put over the entrances to the set. Um, they thought they'd been shot, but it sounds like actually they'd been dogs that killed them. They have to be permanently identified so that when we do the blood test for TB, that we can prove that this was this badger. On your head. So uh, we, we chip them here. So I'm just checking that the chips are working. Oh, badgers have got such tough skin. There we are. They're really hard. One little spray of the magic spray. You really are going upside Ow. down. <laughs> on the tummy. My tummy's not that fat. No. No. But she's paddling. <laughs> There's no milk in there, I can assure you. <laughs> Oh, that's just, oh, that, my God, that's cute. Yeah. There's Daddy. There's Daddy. no Mummy. No. Can you stop talking to the animals, please? It's your fault. It's catching. I never I used to until you were here. This is um, Royal Cannon Baby Dog Moose. And... Ooh la la. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and Esbalak Puppy Milk. I'm a royal badger. She likes you. But all badgers love me. Mm. Just people who hate me. <laughs> yeah. I'm all for that. That keeps me very happy. Let's go and see what the others think. Say hello to your friend. Sort yourselves out. It's funny you can see with our baby because we've had her a lot longer. She hasn't got the thick guard heads that two new babies have got. Been too molly coddled. Yeah. She hasn't been out in the cold like the other two have. Well, for now, this little badger cub's safe, but because we know two others have been killed, it sounds like there's something quite sinister going on, somebody's tampering with the sets or something. We're going to meet Peter Egerton from the Surrey Badger Group on site so we can have a really good look around to see if there's any evidence of, of man's disturbance of the sets and just to check what's going on. OK, well, we've found the pond then. This is the pond. And according to the instructions, the set is between the pond and the field so it should be in that area somewhere just a few yards to go shh, shh, Peter, Peter, come here, come here young badger, straight ahead of you film, film, film see at the top there wrong set there now then we might have a decision to make if those two have lost their parents then the chances are that this cub is now also an orphan. The poor cub was so stressed that I put him inside my jacket to calm him down. He worries me that two are dead. I think I'm, I'm about sort of 40, 60 at the moment. and 60% to take it because the other two were dead. If the other two hadn't been found dead and he was out, I'd be quite, just leave it alone and walk away. But I think with the other two dead, it worries me a lot. I would agree with that, I think, because of the history. You take it back and take it back. at least check it over, do a post-mortem and then have another think if we, if we need to. It's just such a shame, but it's odd that it's out by itself alone. <laughs>